Dividend investing is boring. At least that's what I hear from a lot of people. Because nobody cares about a four to 5% steady growth every single year if you can get a 35% increase in a day in the crypto market. And why would you waste your time with the dividend portfolio anyways? In this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly why I personally think a dividend portfolio is gonna be a very powerful tool for myself to set myself financially free. There is no doubt about it, we live in a fast world. Get rich fast, lose weight fast, make a thousand percent in the crypto market today, consume content even faster, you get it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. To be honest, I actually like it. But at the same time, I think it's important to differentiate between the fast lane and the slower one. Most likely, unless you crash in the fast lane, both lanes will get you to your destination just like one is fast and one is slower. So dividend investing for me is basically the safe and slow lane, which will take care of me in the future. So if you're still with me, you will soon realize that I love analogies. Here we go. A dividend portfolio is like a tree. Yes, I said a tree. Don't click away, just hear me out. It all starts with a very small seed, which if planted in the right soil, will grow to a massive tree one day. As we all know, a healthy tree is very strong and powerful, and it's very hard to shake it out of its roots. When taken care of correctly, this tree can provide you with delicious fruit every single year. And with the fruits that you get, you can either consume them or replant them and grow more trees for yourself. Are you still with me? What I'm trying to say is you have to start somewhere. If you only have $100 right now, don't wait and start investing today. Water and nourish that seed every single day as much as you can and it will grow into a massive tree one day. And when I say start investing today, I'm not necessarily talking about putting that $100 to work in the stock market. Instead of doing that, I'd rather have you invest $100 into yourself to generate more income, which then you can put into the stock market. Learn a skill that other people pay for so you can generate more income so you can then plant a seed and nourish that seed so it will grow to a second income stream. And as soon as you plant that, that seed, just keep watering it, keep nourishing it until it becomes a massive tree and at one point it will take care of it itself. With that being said, here's an update of my current dividend portfolio. I haven't changed much but I decided to no longer purchase AT&T on a regular basis. The dividend cut and the sell-off um, of Warner Media just didn't motivate me to invest more into a, a telecom company. On the other hand, I don't hate AT&T that much to sell off my entire shares. I will just hold on to the shares that I've accumulated over the past two years and just use the dividends that it still pays, even though it's like half now, um, and just reinvest it into companies that I actually want to purchase. As you can see, I also increased my S&P 500 position to a goal of 20% of my portfolio. Also, my smaller positions like 3M, Walmart, and Procter & Gamble will catch up within the next purchases, which will even out my entire portfolio, so I'm not heavily in AT&T right now, so it will just balance each other out. Within the next couple of months, I will probably have a bet better balance within my portfolio and I'm not heavily invested in AT&T because right now that's my biggest position. Since I'm not purchasing more AT&T, this position will become smaller and smaller over time and the other positions or the other shares, the other companies that I have will grow bigger. Last but not least, someone asked, and I'm sorry I didn't take a screenshot and I can't find the comment for the life of it, um, somebody asked me, how do you fund your dividend portfolio? The short answer is with my growth portfolio. The little bit longer answer is I'm selling covered calls on my holdings in my growth portfolio. Selling covered calls means you have 100 shares or a minimum of 100 shares, and then you say you wanna sell them at a specific price in the future. For this contract, you receive a premium. I usually go way out of the money, which will lower my risk of getting assigned, but at the, at the same time, it also reduces my premium by a lot but I don't care too much about it because I really want to hold on to my shares but I also want to put them to work I just don't want to hope for it to you know appreciate in value over time while I'm holding it I still want to make money with that and that money that I generate through selling options I use to fund my dividend portfolio so all the money that you will see coming into my dividend portfolio is generated by my growth portfolio by selling options. If you want to see more of my daily financial moves, feel free to join my Patreon. The link is in the description below. And also don't forget to collect your free money, also in the description below. I'll see you next time.